Rocketron. A Rocketron. We had to book it here because I woke up at seven to get us the thing. And then we almost didn't make it in the right time. But it's May the 4th. Look at my hair. Wow, I have a backpack too. We're not going to Hollywood Studios though because that would be insane. So we're in Magic Kingdom instead. Yay. This is us in the future. I had the ocean something bowl, bowl from Satuli Canteen. And it was good. I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. Um, floating mountains. Floating mountains. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, it was good. But it had raw tuna. And that's I'm not a fan. But I tried it. And it was fine. But it had these blue noodles that were really good. That I thoroughly enjoyed. Okay, next. Um, I had the cheeseburger pods, which are delicious. So five out of five floating mountains because they have never failed me. I love them so much. Yeah. And then they get the same thing that they get every time. How would you rate your beef bowl from yesterday? Five out of five. Nice. Woo! Okay, see, see, back to the past. Five. My favorite. Look at how beautiful she is. <laughs> Stop it right now. Look at how gorgeous. Oh my god. And a 10 minute wait? Wow. Is a brachiosaurus? Isn't that what the trivia said? This? Yeah. That's an iguanodon? That is? Yeah. What was the stupid. 
35. Hello there. Welcome to the right. Transdimensional Joyride. Take some pictures. I'm Dr. Oh, Seeger, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeger. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the one dog, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! She's gone. Wow. Lonely. So we decided to take this tour, but they're supposed to we're supposed to be on this That's tour. About tea, I believe. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So we're going tea. We're taking a train oh, gray. into the mountain. The so black, black take long. some tea. I'm going to point out a few of my favorite plants. That one. One, there. one over there. We're going to see some of the tea up at the top of the mountain. Oh, very nice. It's a very rare tea. That doesn't require as much oxygen. I think there's a ghost. I've got a bad feeling about this. That's no moon. Too much fun at the tea party. <laughs> there weren't any scones. I think he was upset about that. Yeah. Oi. 
something to tuck there in the bushes too. Again, they're showing their use of camouflage. The ones that are tan, those are the kudus. And you can notice that both of these animals have stripes along their bodies there. Those white stripes to a predator look like rays of sunlight coming in through the tree canopy. Um, so that's a type of camouflage that they can use. So those stripes really come in handy for them. Spot the hippo. Oh, you're on the move. We're gonna follow. oh my gosh, there's a littler one. So typically they'll hang out in the water on the other with side their eyes there they are. and noses. Hippo. Sticking out of the water, that's how they'll tend to rest. Oh, they're so And this cute. is mom and baby, actually. The oh my god, I knew it. Is Greta. She's not so little oh, anymore. She's quite big. <laughs> but what's closer to us at the moment, we have some Incoli cattle right here to our right grazing. Now, Incoli cattle are also known as Watusi cattle after the Watusi tribe, which originally painted dogs. There are three of them kind of in a little group there, a little triangle. Those animals are the best predator that we have here on the reserve. That's because they hunt in a group. Tongues that they share with okapis because okapis and giraffes are relatives. Jurassic Jam. <laughs> I mean, that's the best kind of traffic stop, if you ask me. Oh These giraffes are just kind of, they like to play follow the leader. If they see one moving, they're like, what are you up to? And yep, here comes another one. <laughs> and that's just how it goes. <laughs> We're just gonna see if this one, are you gonna cross? Let's see, yep. <laughs> oh my like, no, I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> so we're gonna go what's called poly poly, so slowly, slowly past these giraffes because we do like to give them their space because they are such large, large animals, but you're gonna get a lovely view of these giraffes. They're just beautiful. Hi. so pretty. <laughs> a nice view at those elephants. These are African elephants. The shape of their ears kind of tells us. The giraffe. The giraffe views don't stop. Which I'm okay with. Two on either side. There's so many ducks. It builds up in their skin over time and creates that pink color that we can see. <laughs> the safari because that island that they're hanging out on is in a bit of a familiar shape did any year. So we have three babies in our crash of white rhinos which is super special. We're just hanging we have quite a few individuals. But we also got some cheetahs moving about to our left over there. Now cheetahs are the fastest land animals. Nice look at them. Oh my gosh. We're also going to look at this covers of really harsh vegetation, so things like vines, weeds, oh things that other animals that graze oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. can't oh gosh. So easily cute. digest. Look but these go. goats, they don't have any problem Hi. pumping out. They are more than willing to do so. Oh, they're so cute. They also produce a...